as a designer, you're going to be presented with the opportunity to present to many different types of audiences. Sometimes you're going to have to stand and sometimes you're going to have to sit. If you have to present from a sitting position, follow what your mom told you and stand up straight. Don't lean over the table. Don't lean back in your chair like you have somewhere better to be. Be present. Keep your hands on the table. Keep them visible. Don't tuck your hands underneath the table and hide them. An interesting psychological proof is that when people can see your hands, they trust you more. Use them to express what you're saying. Have them hold a document. Have them hold the clicker if you're also presenting to a PowerPoint but keep them visible. When you're presenting from a sitting position, you also have the advantage that you are most likely closer to your audience. Use this opportunity to make eye contact with different members of your audience. Don't stare at one person the whole time. That's a little creepy. Shift your gaze down the table. Scan. Help people feel acknowledged. The benefit of presenting while standing is that you have this really wide range of motion. You can walk around a little bit. You can point. You can look at the audience. You can scan the audience. There's so many things that you can do while standing that just don't really make sense when you're sitting. When you're standing, try to pace back three or four steps to the left and three or four steps to the right. This motion helps you convey the energy in your presentation without distracting from what you're doing. Conversely, don't run from side to side or just kind of take these little micro awkward steps. Try to have a consistency to your motion. Walk three, four steps to the right and three, four steps to the left as you present what you're talking about. Make sure to look at your audience. Just like you did when you were sitting, you can pick out a few people to look out throughout your presentation. Don't stare at them, just look and then go to the next person. You could also do it by zones. You can look at this zone first and then the zone in the back. Keep your body language open to the audience. Don't turn your body 90 degrees. Don't walk and then do an about face and walk the other direction. Maintain your body orientation forward and your face forward. You can turn by 10, 15 degrees, but whenever you walk, still maintain that connection to the audience. There is really no need to turn quite so dramatically or especially to show your back. Make sure you're using your hands and your body to communicate what you're talking about. Having your hands at your side or in your butt pocket or even in your front pockets, that's not gonna do anything for you. And it's not gonna convey the trust and the confidence that they should have in your presentation. Keep your hands in front, keep them active. Use them to guide your direction. Use them to tell the story. Have your movements reflect the emotions or the, the action or the questions that you have. Your hands are an essential part of your body language. And they also are one of the most distracting. If you fidget, if you reach for things in your pockets, or in general, you use them poorly. So really study how you could use your hands to bring your audience on that journey. To close this out, if you're presenting while standing, make sure to practice. Standing, using your hands, practicing walking back and forth in a steady rate and using that motion to bring people on the journey of your presentation. These are all challenging skills, but you never know what life is gonna throw at you as a designer, so it's worth practicing them. The time that you spend on this is gonna have amazing dividends throughout your entire career.